How's it going, everybody? My name is David. And I'm Morgan. And we are Chef Whale. And today we're reviewing Bath & Body Works Ice Lemon Pound Cake. So let's talk about this label. Morgan, <laughs> you get us started here. We have thoughts on this label. So I'll start with the good. First and foremost, the background of the label, which goes all the way around the jar, which I appreciate. It's sort of like a watercolor pattern to it. The collection itself comes in multiple colors. This one's a nice pale yellow, so nice for spring. You could even make it into summer. Outside of that, it's got um, pretty basic gold lid, nothing special there. Um, and then it's also got gold accents overlaying um, on that watercolor pattern. I love the actual gold flex. Moving into the bad part of this, what I absolutely just, it kills this label for me. There's butterflies on them. And you'll see that across the other labels as well with different little critters and creatures and flowers, whatnot. Yeah, pretty I sure don't, this, yeah, I pretty don't sure like this whole collection <laughs> is very similar to this case. I don't like it. Personally, to me, this comes off as not something I want to highlight in my house decor. Um, it's something that I would be hiding and will be hiding in um, candle holders. Um, but I'll pass it off to David because he also has thoughts. <laughs> yes, yes, pass it off to me. No, I, I'm, I'm right there with, with Morgan. I'm not in love with this with this candle's label. If you love butterflies, you'll love this label. Of what they could have done butterfly-wise, having just some gold butterflies with like maybe like a little bit of texture, like glittery texture, uh, it's, it's not too apparent. They could have gone crazy. It could have been just tacky rainbow. It could have been like the, all the designs throughout keeping every every butterfly busy. Yeah. They didn't do that. So if you do like butterflies. And you know, gold. I, and gold. And gold. Which, which yeah. I do appreciate. I love the gold. It's just I don't like the butterflies. On the positive note for me, like whenever, whenever you get into the actual background layer of this candle, that's where you start to see some really neat stuff here. I really enjoy the texture. There's lines kind of running through it. There's some dots here. There's also this kind of pollen like cloud design on the front so that's why i kind of appreciated it it looks like you smacked a pine tree and a bunch of pollen just kind of wafts out into the into the air can that's, you tell we live in the south yeah no it's it, it looks like a nice little pollen cloud it's it's very spring it's very you know vibrant and yellow mm -hmm. like it's not a bad label there's definitely way worse labels yes i just don't love it and if you're looking at what this candle actually is, ice lemon pound cake, you're never going to think lemon pound cake with this. That's a this. really good point. Maybe, I mean, that's fine. I mean, I remember last fall we had what, like pineapple, pi pineapple pound cake and pumpkin apple especially that were just bam, like exactly what it was right on the front of the label. I don't need that. But, you know, it's not terrible. It is very artsy. I just don't appreciate the butterflies. But enough about the label. The lid, nothing nothing really to write, uh, write home about there. It's just gold. They do really neat lids sometimes. Mm -hmm. But this one is, is definitely nothing to be excited about. And as far as the wax goes, you know, thankfully we got no loose wax, with, which you can get from online orders sometimes. Yeah. There's no dips or cracks or bubbles or anything like that. The wicks look fine. But it's just white wax. Yeah, nothing nothing crazy. Which I guess keeps everything in, in tune with the icing feel of the candle. So right. it's on theme. It's on theme. Well, Morgan, tell me what you smell on cold. This is the best part of all candle reviews. <laughs> it's the best part of going candle shopping in general for me. So yep. you tell me what you think about it. You even just opening that lid, I could catch yeah, a it's, of it. Yeah, it's, um. it's pretty bad. <laughs> so official notes are sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. Smelling this, to me, this does not give that artificial candy or cleaner lemon smell that you usually find in lemon candles. I'm very picky about lemon scents and this one passes the marks. I get every note that they give us except for whipped cream. I get a nice, very forward lemon scent followed by a nice sugary, not overly sweet smell, and then there's a nice subtle base of bakery note. Uh, but I just don't get that creamy, like dairy whipped cream sort of smell. But you, but you get that almost any time Bath & Body Works mm -hmm. puts cream into a candle, it can be easily overlooked. I think with the whipped cream, what it's doing is adding to a little bit of that 
thickness with the frost. Cause like with frosting, like you've got Krispy Kreme glaze. You're not getting that thin, no heaviness or weight to the smell kind of yeah. kind of frosting or icing. It's not like a buttercream frosting. It's definitely- Well, it's on that thicker side where like, I think the whipped cream note is kind of adding some density to it because whenever I smell it, and again, this is one that as soon as you crack it, you, you get what it is. It's very um, strong. It's strong. I mean, and, and it, to me, it smells just like a, a dense, nice and baked lemon cake with that run your finger across the top and lick <laughs> it off type dense frosting. To me, this is, is exactly what you get from the name. It's a slam dunk for me as far as matching a name with what you're actually smelling here, which is definitely not always the case with these candles from Bath and Body Works. Sure. But this is one where, yeah, it is exactly what they're selling you here. For me, I'm right there with Morgan. You know, I'm, I'm getting that lemony smell. It's it's a nice edible lemon. It's not cleaner. It's not candy. If I walked into somebody's house with this candle burning, I would expect to eat this cake. Like I would expect <laughs> to see it somewhere. So yeah. yeah, for me, as far as how I would rate this on cold, this is definitely a double up candle for me. I absolutely love this candle. It smells amazing. This is the best thing I think I've smelled all spring. I'm not a big spring and summer candle buyer. Uh, they go really deep into very floral candles, beachy smells to the point where you've got somebody's bottle of suntan lotion <laughs> squirted it into a, a Mai Tai or something like that, which, you know, obviously I'm not much of a beachy guy. This is this is what I, what I appreciate about this time of year. You know, give me the baked goods, give me that kind of stuff. Uh, that has those fragrances that make mm -hmm. you know spring what it's what about yeah. you? Um, I would not go quite as far to rate this as a double up candle. However, this is a solid keep for me. Um, to me, I, so I do love my floral candles. I love spring and summer candles. It's perfect for when you've just cleaned your house or your apartment and you don't want it to smell like cleaner, but you want it to smell foamy. This is a great candle for this. I'm excited to keep this. I'm excited to smell what it smells like after it's burned. See if it actually translates over. But on cold, as David said, this is definitely a solid one and it's a keep for me. Cool. Yeah, so, so pretty favorable from both of us. Mm -hmm. Let's go and see what this actually smells like when it's lit. So it's about a month later. We're finally getting around to talking about how the burn was with this candle. Yep. For me, I know that smelling it on cold, this was one of my favorite candles that, that I've smelled in a while. It was one of those, smelled it in the store, absolutely loved it from, from the moment my nose hit that air inside. And then the burn was just okay, for, in, my, in my opinion. Now, the burn was fine, the, not very sooty. The wicks were totally fine. We don't trim our wicks, really. Like, if they get that kind of mushroomy top, we'll, we'll you know, take care of it. But right. wicks didn't give us a problem. They weren't moving around. They weren't you know, sinking in the wax or anything like that. The burn was great. It's just, just kind of a, no pun intended, vanilla candle. I don't know. It was, <laughs> it was just for me, it was like, okay, yeah, it's, it smells good. It smells very homey. It smells very much like what it smelled on cold. It just wasn't anything that I would just catch whiffs of and be like, oh my God, like that candle's burning. It smells so good. I did have my fair share of moments though, like smelling it and being like, oh, what are we baking? You know, like, oh, it's the candle. It sounds corny, but I, you know, did have that thought a couple times, but it wasn't really anything that got me excited and really talking a lot. Cause if we really like a candle, we talk about it while it's burning. Well, see, I disagree. I I loved this candle more burning than I did mm. on cold. Again, I am not the biggest fan of lemon smells to begin with. I was excited about this one because it didn't smell like cleaner. Smelling it on cold, it did smell like something was baking. So to your point, you're correct on that. But every time I walked into the room, I was like, oh my gosh, the smell is heavenly. It is just enough of a bakery note to make it not overwhelmingly fruity. But overall, I loved it. We've burned it a couple of times and our first initial burn was in our bedroom, which we've got- An eight by eight by eight room. It's a very simple right. box. <laughs> very simple box and it's not overly large. So when we say it's a really strong throw, you can trust us that it's not going to make your neighbor's apartment smell or like also be completely underwhelming. The initial burn we did for this candle was in the bedroom. And I remember that initial burn and going to bed that night and being like, damn, it still smells really freaking good in this bedroom. Yeah. Like it smells, it smells incredible. It was it's a strong throw. It's a yeah. lasting scent. You can burn it. You can put it out. You can cap it. You can put it in the, in the <laughs> cellar. 
and you'll come back upstairs and you'll still smell exactly what you smell when you pop it open and take a whiff. We burned this a second time today, just out in the open concept living room. That's when the throw was still strong, all things considered. You could take a sniff at any point. You could be like, okay, yeah, it does smell like something's in the oven, but it wasn't as pungent and it wasn't as in your face, kind of the way I like these candles to be. So for me, I was a little disappointed by that. But again, if this is going into a, a room kind of similar in size to our bedroom, an eight by eight by eight, it's gonna be a good throw. I mean, and I don't think the throw is bad. I mean, I, I think if we were to rank the throw, I'd, I'd put it at like a seven or an eight. I, I would agree with that. Because I liked this while it was burning much more than I liked it on cold, for me, I'm now bumping up my rating to where I would double up on this. I think this is a good basic scent to have in your home if you like something that is clean, fresh, and also safe. You're not gonna scare off any neighbors or anybody coming over for like a party with mm. any wild flavors. I think that this is flavors. flavors. <laughs> it's your basic lemon and it's not cleaner lemon. It's homey baked lemon. It's I think so it's good. a it's a candle that is certainly something that if, if anybody walks in I, I really don't think anybody would walk in and be like oh my god it smells like lemon pound you know what i mean it's a it's a it's a candle that i feel like most people are going to enjoy most people will probably salivate a little over so i think it's a good candle there and it's funny because you bumped up from like a it's a purchase to like a double up candle like this is something that you I, know if I I'm will, wrong. This is, I will repurchase or I would like to have at least multiple of these on hand. I was going to say, it's something that you would want multiples of in case, you know, for the, that. Yep, I like that. The thing about those candles I love is I get so sad when they get to that <laughs> bottom, <laughs> that last 20% of the candle where it's pretty much just, what, backwash <laughs> for the candle world, like, so, like a puddle of soot. For me, like, I could understand the double up, and I don't disagree with that. This is one that's, like, a very cooler weather entertaining candle to me. I don't know if I would really want this too much in the summer, which I think probably goes against what I was saying earlier on. For me, it just doesn't, it just doesn't click. I don't know, but if it is, like, September, um, I wouldn't say October, because that's when fall stuff is in full bloom, but, like, if it's August or September, maybe not August here, but if it, the weather's cooling off a little bit, um, and you kind of want something a little bit uh, inviting and warm, this is the candle. So for me, it's it's definitely a purchase. I would not have a problem understanding anybody doubling up. In fact, me from about a month ago said double up. <laughs> cold, it's a double up. On cold, I love the smell. On hot, I would say that this candle is something that it, it smells good, but it's just a, a, a plain purchase. It's underwhelming to you, but I loved it. I think this is such a solid foundational candle. This is a whelming candle. <laughs> That's that should be the tagline for this video. This is a whelming candle. That's Ice Lemon Pound Cake for you guys. You know, let us know what you think about it. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. You can That's that. good. <laughs> hey, thanks guys.